Welcome back everybody, Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. It is 5.37 in the morning and I am getting ready to head out. I'm gonna go to the seawall and fish the surf now. I was out there yesterday morning and everything was perfect conditions. The wind was just right, the surf was just right. It was completely and totally flat, but the tide was coming in hard. There was a lot of movement underneath the water surface and what that does is that really stirs up all the sediment and all the sand and everything so the water was just dirty i mean it was probably maybe about 400 yards out and obviously you can't cast to that can't reach it weight fishing i went down the west end waited a little bit met up with a friend of mine simon and well i didn't have any luck i caught one ribbon fish so i'm looking for redemption this morning i am heading back out again we kind of have similar conditions although yesterday afternoon it did get clean and the guys were able to hook up to a few fish unfortunately i wasn't out there anymore but i'm gonna head out and get some redemption but thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe share fingers crossed this early morning that i hook up thanks So I think this is a BP, personal best gap top right here. And it, on a spooner. On a spooner. That cast master. Best. Dang man, you yeah, so lucky. Get you nowhere, Ruben. If you stand right here, I'll show you. You so lucky. All right, I'm a I'm a watch. All right, you tell me your technique. Uh, lady. Oh, that just my baby daddy. Oh, there we go. You need bait? <laughs> See, you caught it. <laughs> I got one. Oh my god. Dude, they're running. <laughs> they're running. I tell you, you yeah, need there's a gap top or a hard head? Huh? Was there's a gap top yeah, or a gap top? Oh, ladyfish. Hit and miss. There's a lot of ladyfish out here. Keep getting hit and getting tapped, but not holding on. Kind of. But they hit it. They hit it solid, so. It's a little after sunrise. I went to the rocks down the way, and they look a little dirtier, so. You can kind of just tell. This one looks pretty murky, too. It's not as clean as I would have hoped it to be. Especially after seeing pictures from yesterday. But. We'll see how it goes. Still clean enough. We're still fishing it. As soon as the sun starts coming up, the spoon will be illuminated a little more, so it'll be easier for the fish to see them. There we go. Ladyfish. Oh, spit it. What a jerk. There we go. Another ladyfish. Got off again. There we go. Oh, came off. There he goes again. There he goes. Now he's on. Got a little. It's a little heavier. Fighting a little different. Nope, it's off. Oh no! Nope. There he goes. It got off. That was a trout. There you go. That's a good one. First fish. Oh no! Where's he at? Careful. I hate for you to fall and I gotta pick up your reel and fight this for you. Maybe it's thing right here or something. It's heavy, huh? Just no pulling. 
suction cup down to the ground right there. Is he really? Yeah. Dang it. You come on this side. You gotta be a stingray. Yeah, yeah, that for sure. Yeah. A stingray on a spoon? Yeah, he's up now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't stop him. <laughs> he's pulling drag. To go off. For sure it's going right. Yeah. It's a big one. What side is he on? It's hard to tell with that glare. Oh, yeah, he's right in front of it. Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Is that a heavy rod or medium? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a stingray. See how close I can get to him. Oh, that's not. Oh, ah, he's under. Yeah. He's too big. He's too big. No. <laughs> I can't get him. Let me see it for a second. You hold on to the rod and see if I can get it. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> got him. It's not a trout, but it's a big old ray, man. I think that's the biggest one I've I've seen landed. Someone that's else just caught him though. That might be. That's a, pretty. Might be a. You know what? I've that's never caught one. Though. This is my first. Uh, it's your first stingray. On a uh, cast master. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, and he has been caught before. Yeah, yeah. There's no stinger on him. Yeah, get your out. <sighs> no, it wasn't coming out, yeah, was he? But feel my. Feel my Feel my line how afraid it is for up and down there. Dang, it is pretty afraid. Yeah. Man, how did you land that guy? <laughs> That's pretty wild. Alright, we'll get a couple picks of them. Yeah, this is definitely a strange. I've never caught one. These blow holes are spots different. Right His eyes are different. I don't know if it's a spotted eagle ray, baby. Pretty cool though. Yeah, it's my first one. Look at that. Suction cup down, pick him up. He is? Yeah. You gotta slide him. <laughs> there you go. Ouch. Hey, he's smiling. That's an awesome one, Cody. <laughs> Alright, so I was getting ready to leave, and my buddy has a big old black tip on, so I'm trying to run back out here as fast as I can. Sorry, it's shaking us to the camera. Let's see if we can get him reeling this thing in. Did you lose him? Did you lose him? Oh. He got quite as big as that on a rattle trap as soon as it hits the water. Rattle trap, huh? Yeah, I'll move out the way. There he is. Same rattle trap I caught that nine pound trout on. How big? I 
think that one's not big enough. 24, yeah. I think, yeah, right? Is it? Yeah, I think they're gonna be 24. Well, guys, that's going to be it. You know, I was out there from about 6 a.m. to about a little before 5, and I fished all over the Galveston seawall, all up and down the rock groins. That water was just a little too milky. The fish weren't very respond. They weren't responding well to the lures that I was throwing. I was throwing spoons. I threw root of shrimp. I threw root of shad. I threw all kind of soft plastics. I threw a lot of stuff at them in that time frame. And I also went and fished a friend of mine's private dock. And I got a nice run over there. I had a nice gar on, but unfortunately I wasn't able to land him. But you saw Cody. Cody got a really nice stingray. That was the state record if only we would have taken the measurements, that would have blown this, the current state record for butterfly stingray out of the water. Unfortunately, we didn't even think about it. We didn't know what we had. He didn't know what he caught. I never seen a stingray like that before. And you know, we quickly took a couple pictures and, and quickly set it on its way, safely released them back into the water. That was kind of our main concern. But you know, which that was kind of cool seeing a potential state record being caught. But other than that, you know, Troy got a nice little tra uh, nice little shark on, and everybody I talked to out there that was fishing that day, they weren't having very much luck on our officials on lures, and everybody that around them, the people that around them that were having success, were catching them on live shrimp, and you'll get that a lot of times. You know, the trout uh, fish will have locked jaw for whatever reason and just not want what you're throwing. Um, maybe it's the water clarity, maybe they're feeding more off scent, um, it's really hard to tell, but uh, live shrimp was really key that day. Those that had it had a lot of luck, and those of us that didn't, well, we just kind of grinded out a day. And my day was long, I was really beat, but I had a great time. I was kind of just being hard-headed, not really wanting to go to the bait shop and throw live bait, but I... Um, I had a good time anyway. You know, it's always fun on the water. It beats being a lot of other places. No other place that I'd rather be. And if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you guys. But please do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, and don't forget to like, comment, and share. And until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.